This is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Today we'll chat about Tesla's little drinking problem, the one automaker Tesla hasn't beaten, and why electric cars will be hard to pass up in three years. Now here's the latest in all things mobility. This episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the new Harman Spark. Upgrade your current ride with in-car Wi-Fi, virtual diagnostics, and so much more. To activate yours exclusively with AT&T, visit the link in the description. Tesla is feeling pretty darn good about itself right now. That's because the electric car company is rolling baller style on Wall Street. Its skyrocketing stock now makes it the second most valuable car company in the world. Yep, after nudging Volkswagen out of the way, the only thing separating Tesla from being numero uno is Toyota. This is great news for Tesla fans and even better news for Tesla investors. In about one year's time, Tesla's stock has more than doubled in value. The Silicon Valley-based automaker is now worth a cool 100 billion with a capital B, folks. Why the sudden love for Tesla stock? Well, you can credit strong sales, new factories in China and Europe, quarterly profits, and the promise of even better days with upcoming sales of the Model Y crossover and Cybertruck pickup. So yeah, Tesla can gloat about its billions with a capital B. Tesla's stock is soaring, but the company's drinking habit is raising some eyebrows too. No, the electric automaker isn't doing keg stands or suggesting a round of beer pong. An environmental study regarding Tesla's upcoming factory outside of Berlin, Germany, has suggested the facility will have quite a thirst for water. This need for potable drinking water in the giant factory has some residents worried about how Tesla's operations will affect the water supply for everyone else. Not to mention the acres of forest that need to be cleared to make way for the factory itself. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, took to Twitter and explained the study mentioned only potential peak water usage, not a figure that would be normal for everyday operations. In another tweet, Musk also justified clearing the forest by saying only a small portion would be cleared for Tesla's future factory. Remember that Bond film where the billionaire bad guy has a secret plan to steal all the water in a barren part of Bolivia? Oh, I really hope Elon's not a Bond villain. Your next electric car could be a whole lot cheaper. Price check on aisle EV. According to an economist from the University of Michigan, the price of an EV could drop to match the price of a gasoline-powered car in as little as three years. Thanks to advances in technology, innovation from small startups, and big investments in batteries, the prices of electric vehicles are coming down. EVs are already simpler to build than ever before, which means cheaper assembly and engineering costs. Once the price of the raw materials is on par with traditional engines, electric car pricing will be more competitive. Lower costs will help widen the appeal of electric cars and increase adoption rates. But cheap enough to buy at the grocery store? Ugh, oh, come on, Jeff, where are you shopping at, Whole Foods? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech, and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. <laughs> wow. Places, Jeff? Places, Jeff? <laughs> you have passed it. <laughs> this episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the new Harman Spark. Upgrade your current ride with in-car Wi-Fi, virtual diagnostics, and so much more. To activate yours exclusively with AT&T, visit the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.